Ladies and gentlemen, recently I've made a tier list video ranking all the healers based on their fun factor and how hard or easy they are to play. As with every tier list, of course, this is very subjective and it sparked a lot of interesting comments and discussions. You can watch this video from the description or the cards above. But today I decided to rank the healers once more based on their difficulty, however using a more concrete metric, namely how many buttons each one of them has to press. That's also a bit subjective because you can change your build and talents which changes the amount of buttons that you have available. But let's see how this is going to affect our tier list. Mist River Monk, we're gonna be using pretty standard M plus build. Maybe we need to add an extra account for lighter than air because you need to double press your space in order to activate it. But anyway, let's start counting. One, two, three, four. We're gonna count this. Five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Not this. Fifteen, sixteen, seven. No, not this. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We are counting some uh, things that maybe we shouldn't have, but there's nothing on this page, so let's move on. This video was a good reason to spec Coley on my Paladin, because I haven't done that in a while. I had some missing talent, so I had to adjust my build. But anyway, let's start counting. One, two, we're not gonna count this. Three, not counting this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, not counting. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nope. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, we're gonna count this once. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I don't know if we should count this twice because it's two different buttons. But yeah, you need different bindings. If somebody dies, you need to recast it. So let's uh, round all of this up to 830 for the Holy Paladin. Preservation Evoker has quite a few things that you can swap around when it comes to builds and talents, but let's go with this and start counting right away. One, two, three, four, because you have to count this in combat, so we count it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, nope, 26, 27, 28. We didn't even get to the end of page two. Let's move on. Since I haven't played Holy Priest in a while as well, I just picked up one of the builds from the top Holy Priest running the most recent keys on live servers. So this is what we're gonna go with. One, two, three, four. We're gonna count this five, because you cast it sometimes, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, nope, four. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, nope, 28, 29, 30, 31. So far, this is the highest count.
this priest, it has some wiggle room, you can pick things like ultimate penance, but let's go with what we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, nope, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Ending on halfway to page 2. Rastu Druid is a tough one because you have three different forms or four different forms that you can be in. All of them have different buttons, so let's agree that uh, we're not gonna count the skills that you have in bear form. But we're gonna count the bear form itself because it's kind of like a defensive that you press every now and then. Not to mention the other talents that you can pick like flourish etc. But let's get counting. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're gonna count this. We're not gonna count this. 5. Uh, we're not gonna count this because it's automatic now. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, we're not gonna count this, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, we're not counting the rest, so let's go here, 34, but I think I missed some skills on the previous page, uh, Tree of Life and Nature, so that's 35, 36, and we did skip a whole bunch of pressable buttons. Rest to Shaman is another tough one because you have a lot of talents in both trees that you can switch and significantly change the amount of buttons that you can press, but let's use this build and start counting. One, two, uh, we're not counting this because we don't have it. Three, four, not this. Um, five, six, seven, not this. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, because you press it in combat, 18, 19, 20, 21, nope, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34, because you have to press this sometimes in combat. Now let's go to the final list. So here are the final counts, what I would say is that Rest to Druid definitely has the most buttons to press, I even think that we went a little bit easy on it as we skipped a lot of buttons that we could have counted, and the other class with a lot of button bloat is definitely Restoration Shaman as we skipped some buttons there as well. Holy Priest ranks relatively high, a lot of people say it's easy to learn but I actually disagree, it definitely has a steeper learning curve compared to some of the other classes. Mistweaver is a little bit deceiving because we counted a lot of buttons like uh, Crack Jade Lightning or the two buttons for Transcendence. And yes, many classes have buttons like that, but I feel that if we remove those, Mistweaver could actually go to the bottom of the list. Where we find Preservation Evoker and Discipline Priest. They definitely have the least amount of buttons to press, but that doesn't make them the easiest classes to play, as their gameplay style is quite complicated and requires a lot of skill. But do let me know what do you guys think about this list, and here's another question and suggestion. Do you think it would be nice if they limit the amount of buttons that each class has to a specific set number? Maybe they can go even a little bit further and only have a specific number of defensive that you have, maybe a specific number of rotational buttons, specific number of cooldowns. And yes, that could make World of Warcraft look maybe like a Diablo, but this number is going to be pretty high, like 25 or 30, which is quite the amount of buttons, and I don't think that would be comparable to Diablo-like games. I would be pretty interested to find out what you think about an idea like that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Now get out of here.